This is a night bus in Japan, and it is probably the most comfortable bus I have ever seen. Not only does everyone get their own pods and blankets, there's also curtains on the windows. I'm literally getting sleepy just thinking about this right now. Why can't they make planes like this? This railing on a gazebo in Naples is braille to describe the view to blind people. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Why don't we do this everywhere? Also, what a terrifying challenge for whoever has to write these words. How do you even describe this landscape? It's so amazing. How to get your raft over with without getting wet. That does not look uh, safe. I mean, I, it obviously is safe. I'm just imagining for some reason piranhas in the water. I'm good. I don't think I want to try this if piranhas are in the water. This Navy fighter jet was photographed at the exact moment it broke the sound barrier. This literally looks like Goku going Super Saiyan. The animes were basically spot on. It's pretty much what's happening here. Baby owls will often sleep on their stomach because their head is too heavy. That was just a random fact that has nothing to do with this image. Uh, this baby owl is actually dead. <laughs> This is the Corbutt flip in the 1972 Olympics in Munich. I don't know what this is going to be all about, but I assume it's that's that is amazing. Is that what not is that not what we're supposed to be looking at? Oh, this is it. I wish I could do this. This is just fun just to practice practice being a monkey all day. Whoa, that was beautiful, but also slightly painful. I don't think I could do that. Algae formed on the head of this Mary River turtle, making him look like a punk rocker. Why wasn't this guy in Nemo? That would have been a cool cameo. Could also be a problem. Like, what if the algae gets in front of his eyes and he goes blind? Yesterday, guy I tried befriending this crow with crow. my breakfast, but he didn't seem interested. Crows are smart. Today, so I'm this scared. Happened. What? I want to do that. Oh, he's getting- oh, look, he's a pirate now! You're an honorary pirate. And I'm sure if you ask this crow, he'll peck out your eyes so you can wear an eye patch. Oh, he's saying noises. Man, how do you do this? I'm gonna actually try this now in real life. Give him some bread. That's what he's probably thinking. Give me some bread, homie! What the- <laughs> Okay, I'd be a little afraid, though. I would start to freak out in this moment. Oh, he's got a real true pal. This might be one of the best days of my life. I wonder if the crow will, like, stick around by his house now. Have a wild crow as a pet, that'd be cool. This is amazing. In the desert of Chile, there is 3,000 year old brush that is so densely compacted, you can stand on it. This looks like a bunch of rocks that's just been covered in moss though. How did they find out this was 3,000 years old? That means that like giant sloths could have been rubbing up against this. I love how everyone just forgets that there were giant sloths at one time just walking around with humans. Okay, maybe it didn't brush up against that specific plant green thing, but maybe there was like one like a while like just chilling for another 3,000 years that we didn't find. But they were definitely in Chile and uh, they were definitely huge. Sitting in a sunken airplane. That seems like a smart idea until like a shark just rolls on in. This definitely looks like it'd be the lair of a king shark. I don't know if there are king sharks out there, but there should be. That would be so fun to explore, depending on how deep you are. Maybe also terrifying. This guy loves scaring kids. That's, that's terrible. Well, maybe not just kids? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Is it always the same one? He just gets entertainment out of this? Dang. That's mean. How did he figure this thing out? <laughs> oh, well, you're just asking for it, Nemo. This turnable driveway. Why would you need this? I have no idea. Maybe if you're terrified of backing up. I mean, I guess there seems to be... This road maybe is moving fast. It's not fun to back up. But when you have all that money, you can flex on people. Oh, they're driving on the right side, so this is definitely not in the U.S. I don't know. This seems a little bougie. I bet you this costs a lot of money, too. Chuck Finney is a billionaire who gave it all away. After spending his life working tirelessly to accumulate a fortune of $8 billion, his net worth dropped to $2 million in 2020. He donated 99% of his wealth to charitable causes. Why am I finding this out right now? Like, why isn't this on every like news site? Like, why would they not report this? This is an amazing story. Tokyo police using a drone to hunt down an illegally flying drone. Look at that, just netted that bastard. How do we know these things are even being flown by humans? Are we sure these drones aren't just in their natural habitat? This is how they perform in nature. Build your own house with giant Lego blocks. This seems like the perfect new marketing tool for Lego. We all grew up on these toys now build your own house out of them in real life. Why would they not make this, actually? This should be their number one design thing. I would totally build my actual house out of Lego. All you gotta do is buy the blocks and then just 
put it together. Probably take like a week, but totally worth it. Is this up to uh, stand? Like, how would this do in an earthquake, though? I guess it's nothing about that. They'll just send you all the building blocks once you send like the schematics of how you want to design your house. Though you'll still need to add the roof yourself and do some technical finishes. There's probably a lot of reasons why we can't just go around doing this. Like, how does electricity and the pipes work? Water. I don't care. I just want to build my house out of Legos. Who cares about all that other stupid sh- I love this video so much. Somebody dropped their sunglasses at this zoo, and this orangutan mama decided she was gonna start stunting on people. Look, even the baby's trying to get a hold of that, but no, this is mama's time. <laughs> Why does this remind me of, uh, what's, uh, what's Donkey Kong's cool name? Just, just give her a, a bandana. They end up like negotiating with her later. I don't know why they didn't show that part. She like throws the sunglasses out of the enclosure and they give her a bunch of bananas. She catches them one-handed. I'm not even kidding. That's what happens. They just didn't show us. This person's Nana, 71 years apart. And what is amazing is that the landscape doesn't look like it changed too much. Although what happened to all this water right here? Was this like a river? For the most part, I mean, this structure is still there. Wait, what happened to this hill too? I'm very confused. Maybe it was a foggy day. What changed more, the landscape or the lady? Which you can't sit on rocks anymore what happened now she's sitting on a stool this is a huge mystery this is the world's largest tire graveyard are they all being like conveyor belted to this like hellscape is this what happened at the end of toy story 3 do they burn tires because that doesn't seem like a good idea at all or is that just like a nuclear apocalypse there is something very scary about this why put all the tires here i would like to go here though where is this apparently some places grind up tires and use them as a base underneath astroturf that's a lot of tires for astroturf i don't think we use that much astroturf this handkerchief carved on this marvel sculpture i don't even know if the greatest artist of all time squidward could have done something as beautiful as this it's like a whole nother level actually the hair looks really incredible too i wish i could just sculpt things a weird desire I have. I just want to do that one day. This is the skeleton of a Roman man who was beheaded after Mount Vesuvius exploded and threw this stone slab at his face. I'm really trying hard not to laugh right now. Is that wrong? This is just such a funny image. Like, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a horrible person. Is it too soon? Is 3,000 years ago too soon? Why am I laughing? Oh my god. It's just such a funny image. I'm going to hell. Seems like a peaceful way to go, though. This Ukrainian lady has been growing her hair out since she was five years old. She is currently 34, and her hair measures up to 1.5 meters. She is literally real-life Rapunzel. She looks just like it, too. Anyone got an IG? Can I get the IG? The rollout of SpaceX's Super Heavy. It is the world's biggest rocket ever. And this guy is just casually filming right there. I don't think I'd want to be close to this thing. Like, what if it just accidentally uh, launches? If you were this close to the launch perimeter, what would happen? It's the world's most powerful rocket ever, I guess I should have said. So yeah, I don't think I'd want to be that close to it ever. An offshore oil rig evacu evacuation system. I could not say those words for some reason. What is this that it's like, what is that? Also, is this fireproof? Oh, oh, it looks fun. Oh, I thought they were already in the thing. Man, I would hope the whole thing catches on fire at some point, just so I could do this. Shit, I'm gonna start the fire myself. I'm trying to go down this slide right here. Then there's another boat that you can just... Okay, that's good. This is a pretty massive inflatable. I, I'm gonna assume, though, this netting is, is fireproof, though, right? I would really hope so. I take back what I said if the thing... If the whole, like, slide is on fire. The common snapping turtle babies look like dinosaurs. This thing looked like it crawled out of some volcano. Like it evolved straight out of the lava itself somehow. I actually kind of want one of these as pets. When do they grow teeth and start, like, possibly trying to kill you? This man stood in the exact location where his grandpa stood during World War II. This is in London somewhere. I wish I could do something like that. My grandpa was in a tugboat somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. How can I recreate that? I guess I can. I just need to be very determined. This is an 86-year-old fisherman somewhere in China. And this man looks like he knows what the hell he's doing. Whenever there's an apocalypse situation, I'm gonna find him, and I'm gonna hope that he teaches me everything. He didn't find a way to master just one crow, but two. I actually don't think those are crows, but he'd be mastering just birds in general every day. He doesn't even try. A different side of Afghanistan. I don't think there's anybody in the world that could have looked at this image and thought, yeah, this is Afghanistan. Well, 
I guess, unless you're from Afghanistan, then maybe, maybe. That looks like the Matterhorn back there. I probably would have said something dumb, like the Swiss Alps. I'm gonna assume this is probably like that easternmost point, or somewhere very close to the eastern border, east-northeast. Crazy to think about, this is the landscape where empires would go to die? Maybe because it's so peaceful, this is like heaven. The small Peruvian town of Santo Tomas celebrates a holiday on every December 25th, Christmas. Men, women, and children settle grudges with fistfights, then everyone goes drinking together, ready to start the new year with a clean slate. This is how you create the perfect society. Everyone has a chance to get out their anger, and at the end of the night, you guys get to hug it out, cry in each other's arms, maybe make love, I don't know. Anything is possible after you fist fight somebody just to get out of the anger. Why do you think those UFC fighters are so, like, loving at the end? They're always hugging it out. This is a controlled burn in an Indian reservation. I've never seen a controlled burn before. And how exactly is this controlled? I wish I knew more about science. Uh fire science. I guess science in general too though. So there's this massive flame that's just behind this man and he's feeling absolutely comfortable with it. This is an almost 4,000 year old ancient clay tablet containing applied geometry. This is a millennia before the birth of Pythagoras. Oh, I've heard of that theorem before. It's actually really terrifying to see how smart ancient humans were. Like, we doing good, you know, like yeah, we got the internet, and we got space, but people back then like were building off of nothing and they were able to figure this stuff out. A random water devil appears. How does that just randomly happen? It, this lady doesn't even care. Oh, good thing it didn't last for very long. How exactly does this happen? Venus flytraps have to put their flowers really far away from their traps so they don't accidentally kill their pollinators, and I love it so much. Oh yeah, here are the traps, and here are the flowers. The fact that it genetically grew to understand it needed to do that is cool. It's weird how, like, anything, any, like, living thing, just knows what to do, kind of. Where does that come from? Like, sea turtles just know, hey, I gotta get to the ocean or else a bird is gonna eat me. A tank cross-section, and this helps me realize just how tiny some tanks can really be. This would not be fun, especially for this guy. How does this guy get out? I don't know if I want to be with the other dude, though. I don't know what position I'd want to be in, actually. Maybe just not here at all. Use me as a meat shield for, like, some side armor. I'm better, I'm better at that. This is my favorite thing ever. Rival monkey tribes fight in the middle of Thailand. Straight up just a gang war. It's literally stopping traffic. That's how big of a beef these guys have against each other. They've got like marked territory. I actually bet they do. They're legitimately banging on these streets right now. This is a five month time lapse of this guy's nail slowly being fixed. It's scary that this takes five months though. That's a long time. That's why you just got to crack your nail open. I think I did that once. I had like a nail that was about to fall off, but I could have just put it back and left it there. I thought it'd be better to pull the whole thing off. Obviously, that was a terrible idea. This is an award-winning sand sculpture in Canada. We've got the Joker and Batman holding hands, my better half. Also, like, they're playing footsies, too, down here. This is just scary. Sometimes stuff is just so good that it's it's just terrifying. How are people this good? This is a World War I memorial, a family missing their father. Okay, this one is, uh, this one is pretty deep. This one hurts. It's apparently in Hungary, too. Apparently, when you eject out of a helicopter, it'll, it'll throw away the propellers, it'll just like collapse and destroy the propellers to help your chance of survival. I mean, if you didn't do that, you'd be going straight through propellers. So yeah, you would not survive that. I guess how else would you eject from this thing? Because you don't want to get your head chopped off. I don't know if this is its actual name, but this was referred to as the secretary bird. Ayo, hey, why is it looking kind of good though? It should be looking pretty nice. Is this how you become a furry? Step one, the process has already begun. This is $14 million worth of quartz found in Arkansas. How do you even find quartz? Also, is quartz that valuable? This is, this is four million? I need to start going around looking for quartz then. A New Zealand promo for Kill Bill 2 back in 2003. Why don't we do promos like this? Why is New Zealand doing things so cool like that? I'd sacrifice my car to be a part of this. That's like legendary. This was from a Soviet film in 1957. And Apparently it is an amazing shot. Let me guess, it's gonna be all in one take. There's no cuts. Still no cuts. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna watch this movie now after I see this. We're still at no cuts, and we also have tanks rolling through the city. Now the camera's clearly on like a jib or some sort of crane, lifting it up. There's multiple tanks just driving through just for this shot. Oh my god. All these people too in the background in the very beginning. The Soviets were not messing around with their film back in the day. At least 
at least not this one. It's just crazy that we'll never get something like this again. They're never gonna do it like this anymore. The film is called The Cranes Are Flying. More old school things. This is a 1955 device to allow you to smoke all cigarettes in one pack because I'm trying to end myself way faster than everyone else. Oh, this is terrifying. This was like actually marketed. I imagine you puff this once and you got like one year to live. I know that's probably not the case, but that's what I'm thinking. This artist makes paintings that look like they're wrapped in plastic. There is no plastic here. This is literally only a painting. I don't even know if I believe that. This looks like there's plastic. How, how do you paint that? The illusion probably only works from certain angles, but this is still amazing. I was actually just thinking about this today that I wanted to learn how to do a backflip. How to do a backflip in one minute. I've watched these videos before. If I don't come out with a video tomorrow, well, you know what happens. No more hand flip, and then you can just jump straight back. I don't even need to do a 100% backflip. I just want to be able to backflip off a wall like this kid. I'm trying to cosplay as this anime guy at school. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is literally all I want to do in life. <laughs> I want to do this so badly. He does a superhero pose at the end. The world's largest exporters were starting in 1972. It's the US and Germany was doing pretty good at this time. Here comes Japan. So Japan's definitely going to be number two, right? At least in the 90s. Crazy that China's not even on this list right now. The Netherlands were outproducing Italy back in the 70s. Also, the US did not have as big of a lead as I thought. Look, and is that Germany just West Germany? That's not even a unified Germany, right? What is this chart? Maybe it is both Germanys. I don't know though. Do they have access to East Germany's numbers at this time? Hong Kong is up there in 1985, all the way at the very bottom, but that's a very small place to be up there. Wait a second, it's 2000s. Japan never passed Germany. Oh, and here comes China. China is just leapfrogging everybody. It's 2002. Look how close Germany got to us. Japan is going to start to fall off a cliff, I think, soon. Singapore and Hong Kong still at the very bottom. Love those small states doing really great. And there it is. China's in two. 2008 happens. Economic crash. And bam, 2012. Largest exporter is China. Why did I not know Germany was exporting that much? Oh, USA back in the lead. Oh, it switched back, though. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? Holy crap. And thank you to the patrons. Drew is a sussy bucka, changed my mind. I'm about a nut. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Luxembourg lover. Poppy Drew Wu. A bullish Wyoming 2021. Aaron F. Arian After Hours. Alfonso M6. Bornski W. Bring Back Poland Bowl. Dalton D. Elijah Senpai. Full Hawks Hawks. Mine Brothers 99 X2. Peter T. Popcorn 2008. Ryan N. Nick Blore. Stormtrooper 501. Patrick C. Thank you.